Hi, and welcome to Catrin Figures. I'm your host, Caitlin, and today we are going to be reviewing Image Comics Motor Crush, issue two. So before we get on, on into the comic, I did review the first issue, so check that out if you haven't already. But I gotta tell you, I'm in love with this cover. And also, we get an appearance by probably my favorite character in this so far, which you will meet in the very first panel. So, opening on into the comic, we get to see a, what I think is a very pretty young woman with pink hair, and she owns a bar, and you find out that her bar is kind of being shaken down for money. We find out a bit more about her later on, but just, she's gorgeous. I'm, I'm in love with this character already. And then we get into Domino, and she wakes up after having this dream about these sketchy characters coming after Lola. We find out the, the female character in the very first part of it was actually named Lola. And she's going through trying to figure out how she got home from the last issue what all had happened and she discovers that she only has two crush left then her father comes into the house into her home and she kind of just relates everything that's happened in the last issue the fact that they're down their worker his name is jack the fact that he's dead now, she lost all her crush stash, and again, she's being harassed by the, uh, the catalog ball, or whatever the hell that is. It's, uh, basically their idea of social media. It's to harass all of the top drivers and to try to get them to log in. So she goes back and down into the shop and she's going through a bunch of old things and you get to see this great photo that's been torn up and she opens up a drawer and you find out that it not only has it been torn in, in half but the very same woman that we saw in the bar is in the photo with her so it was Domino and Lola so Domino decides to go visit Lola, and Lola basically tells her she doesn't want to see her. She made herself clear the last time, and that's it. Then Domino sees the knife from her dream, and she asks Lola what was wrong, what's wrong. And then she notices she seems to be hiding something, so she lifts up her bangs and she notices a black eye. Lola pretty much just shrugs Dom off, screaming at her to get out of her bar, that she can handle it, it's not her problem, and then we find out that Lola is the very same mechanic that put together Domino's original bike that she destroyed in the first issue, and she wants Lola to make her a new one. And Lola's response is, of course this is about a bike. Of course, it's about racing. And she says, for a second, I thought you'd changed. But it isn't in your bones, is it? So, ultimately, Dom leaves. It's kind of a sad note. However, thankfully for us, she hangs around outside the bar, and she's eating at a food stand and waiting. Then she sees the the very same guys that seem to be roughing up Lola earlier. They go back to shake Lola up again. And this time, Lola has Dom to back her up. So, Domino pretty much, pretty much makes pretty quick work of one of the thugs. However, he's got backup. But it's okay because Dom's got Lola. And Lola has a bar stool. So they take off running and they run down the streets. However, they, they soon discover they're being chased by motorcyclists 
Uh, Dom knocks the cyclist off his bike. They steal it. And they ride off. And I gotta tell you, I am in love with this art. I know this is from the same creative team that came out with the Batgirl of Burnside storyline, which I wasn't a huge fan of the art style there, but I'm loving it here. I think that it's great in this aspect, and I love the fact that it's very much like a racing video game, is the way it feels to me. However, we get to see a chase happen. We get to see a little bit more of uh, crush usage, which is really cool. I'd love to know more about it. Um, yeah, but ultimately they get their bike shot up with something and they need to get away. They need to figure out what's going on. However, the bike gets broken. The bike gets broken and we soon find out that it's up to Lola to fix the bike. She's the best mechanic there is. I gotta tell you, I love Lola so much. I'm obsessed with that huge pink hair of hers. Anywho, um, Lola's trying to figure out how to fix the bike, and she only has a short amount of time because they are being chased. However, Dom's trying to give her as much time as she can. But uh, Lola's a badass, and she reworks some of the circuitry on the bike's motor system and actually disables the other bikes, which is kind of great. So Lola trying to trying to explain exactly what she did to solve their issue and Dom hugs her and screams that she loves her. And it's kind of uncomfortable for them. You can tell that they meant quite a quite a bit to each other at one point in time but it's it's kind of that weird it's your ex you still care about them but there's kind of a lot of hard feelings there vibe so they go back to Dom's place and they're talking about what happened to Lola after she left we find out that not only was she the lead mechanic for Team Swift but after she left Team Swift she inherited a bar from her aunt and the bar wasn't going very well so she took a loan from some scary people and then the bar went down he went downhill even more and she couldn't afford to pay them and now she's concerned they're gonna try to kill her so Dominic being the uh, badass that she is calls in a meeting with the very same criminal scum that are after both her and Lola and they're questioning her why on earth she would just why on earth she would cop up there to talk about a debt especially when she just stole a ton of crush from them and caused a lot of damage why they shouldn't just kill her right then and there why they shouldn't just make her an example at the next cannonball race and Ultimately, she tries to she tries to put together a deal with her winnings from Cannonball that each time she races in a Cannonball race, she'll give them half of each pot, and the guys aren't taking it because, like they said, they control all of the crush throughout the entire area. That's like offering water bottles to the ocean. Makes no sense. So we get to see that she has a better offer, but it doesn't quite go into it right then and there. She walks out of it, and we see later on that day, Lola's back, and she's got another bike for her, and she's saying, maybe you don't deserve this, but here you go. Anyway, she did it as a way to try to forgive her, and it was something that she'd been working on before, I'm guessing before they broke up, but it's really uncomfortable for her to deal with. And she's saying that she appreciates everything that she's done for her, but Lola needs to take care of herself. And Dominic says, don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Domino. I keep saying Dominic. I don't know why. Very similar name. Sorry, Domino. Domino. 
Anyway, Dom says that Lola doesn't need to worry about it. It's already been taken care of. And we find out that she placed a bet with the same individuals on Domino Swift to win the upcoming race. And they tell her why on earth would she be so confident of a new of a newbie like that? And she takes off her helmet for the very first time to this underground circuit and she says, Because I am Domino Swift. And the next issue I believe is going to be the race. I'm pretty excited to see what's going into it. Like I said, I've really been enjoying this book. I love the art style. I'm obsessed with this cover. I I gotta tell you, Lola, just a beautifully drawn character. It's fantastic. I'm really enjoying the the overall writing and the story that's going on. I want them to explain more about Crush. I want them to get more in depth with the race scenes. I, I gotta tell you, it's, it's a solid book for me so far, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting that from this team, and I'm really enjoying it. So give me a like if you like this video, comment below, and tell me whether or not you're reading this book, and if you're enjoying it as much as I am. Subscribe to my channel for more comic book content, or check out any of my older videos I have up for author here on Catrun Figures. And until next time, I'm your, I'm your host, Caitlin. Sorry, I might be getting a little bit sick here. Bye!